If we have evolutionized, so to speak, as humans, why can't we communicate with other species? We can, and that's, that's an excellent point. How many of you own a pet? Come on now. I, I'm a cat lover. And I think when you live with an animal, and the longer you live, you go, oh my goodness, this cat suffers, dog suffers, this cat thinks, this cat looks forward to things, it looks forward to playing, playing catch with me. And it has a brain up there, it thinks, it feels, and we can communicate. It's amazing what, you ever gone to the circus? It's amazing what animals can learn. And chimpanzees can communicate in sign language and gorillas. It's, matter, it's amazing what they can communicate and how sophisticated their brains are. It's estimated that the most intelligent animals, dolphins, parrots, and chimpanzees have an intelligence on par with a five-year-old child. You know, think how smart you were when you were five. So that actually is quite amazing. And they're suffering, think of their suffering and they're suffering before the evolution of man. It all points to a fundamental perversion of the universe to explain that. The perversion of the universe and then having the animal suffering, we can communicate with them, we can see how we came, evolved from these animals. And by the way, if you talk about, um, um, if you talk about the Garden of Eden, have you ever thought what would happen if man had not sinned? And would the animals um, you know, have stopped reproducing once they filled up the whole earth? Would man have stopped reproducing? They said, well, it's time to stop reproducing. We still would have had, uh, would have had cold at night. We still would have storms. Would there have been no earthquakes? The earth, all the fundamental laws of the universe would have had to have been drastically different for there to be no suffering or death before Adam's sin. So it doesn't point to that. It points to a drastic change when Satan sinned. All right, the question was about communicating with animals. I think that the level of communication we have with animals is so vastly different than the level of communication we have with fellow humans as to be obvious to anybody. Um, the grunts and groans and uh, squeals of animals is so different than human speech where we portray thoughts to each other over great distances. Uh, also, uh, Monkeys, particularly, if you look at, they say, humans and apes that have a common ancestor, we've got a whole section of our brain called Broca's convolution that allows for us to speak. Monkeys don't have that. You'll never teach a monkey to speak. And by the way, the gorilla that learned all the sign language is simply conditioned response. You make this symbol, I give you cookie. Oh. Yeah. That's not speech. That's not language. Okay? It's a conditioned response that took somebody thousands and thousands of hours and probably half a million cookies to get this accomplished, okay? <laughs> and when this gorilla dies, all that's going to go with it. This animal does not teach its children to do that. Humans do that. We teach our children. We build libraries. We build schools. We pass on accumulated information. No animal on the planet passes on accumulated information in the way that humans do. They just the, the idea that speech evolved from grunts and groans of animals is just silly, not possible. I disagree with it strongly.